G'day, come on, welcome back to the Republic with me, JT. In our last episode, we spoke through coal, we threw how to build coal, we spoke through how the coal plant was going to work, and we set the construction crews to work. Now, winter has passed, and they've got some of the work done, and a whole bunch of the roads done, but we're very far from being finished. So, it means that whilst the construction crews get to work, I'm going to go about planning a new town. It is going to be the wonderful town of Jettysburg, because well, we're going to need labour to run the coal plant. Also going to need labour to run the future construction construction area that we're going to be building in a future episode. So that's going to be today's plan. And with a plan out of the way, I need to ask that very important question. The very important question being, of course, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. Not happy with the video. Didn't enjoy the video. Well, I guess you can have your like back. All right. Today, uh, we need to start, well, uh, in Jettysburg. But before I do that, I do want to talk about our... Actually, no, we're going to go talk about a few other things first. All right, uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is food. We have, um, well, the Lycanstock, the Lycanstock sh shopping center that did fall down previously. It has a small issue. Now, this is an issue with um, workers and resources. It's also an issue with people in general, uh, that when the shopping center uh, is not have, does not have enough room for enough people to get into it, well, what do they do is uh, they stand at the front of the shop. When they say the front of the shop, they actually mean at the rear of the shop. They stand uh, right about here, right in front of these conveyor connections, which then stops new goods being transported into the shop which then causes a absolute shortage of goods, which then causes everybody that was in the shop to not be able to buy the things that they want and leave the shop. And then the trucks, well, the trucks or the um, conveyor connections at the back get some more goods in, which then makes a rush on the shops, which then makes the shops overloaded again. What I've done to mitigate this is I actually have two trucks parked right here. One is full of, well, uh, some clothes, some, oh, some food, some clothes, and some electronics. It goes to the warehouse right at the back tops up with all those three things, comes around the front, unloads all the food, unloads everything else, unloads the food again, well, unloads the food, unloads everything else, uh, then unloads all the food again, just to make sure, and then, um, well, unloads anything else again, just in case, and then heads back around the back to load up again. Okay, no, 15% should be fine. Uh, and then I have the exact same with the meat truck. So the meat truck goes to uh, the meat storage at the back and then parks at the front and physically shoves meat in to the front of the shopping center. It's worked well. It's worked well so far. We've extended the life of the shopping center by an awful lot uh, because, um, yeah, eh, we had a situation where it never had food in it. It never had clothes in it, never had anything in it. It was a bit of a problem. So um, this has been something I've been using to mitigate this problem for quite some time. But um, it's time to move on. This shopping center is obviously overfilled. Uh, if we do a quick check, we can see this sort of covers the whole city plus half of the new expansion. Whereas uh, the wonderful Soviet mark covers, well, the whole new expansion plus half the old city. So I was really hoping that this would just be covering this area, but of course people are gonna go to the closest shopping center, not necessarily the shopping center that has the goods that they want. So we're putting in a brand new shopping center. It's gonna be another Soviet mark style, uh, except this time we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, we have the forklift, we also have the meat storage. Those are gonna be unchanged, except we're gonna change over the warehouse. We're gonna change over the warehouse for, uh, rather than having the small one that does, well, food, 100 tons worth of food, uh, the slightly larger one that does 325 tons of food. It's a slightly larger building, which is perfectly fine. The very important thing about it is, well, it has a train connection. So I can have a rail connection here, which we will use in the future. Uh, can I get that to go away? And can I just approve that so you... Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, yep, yeah, approve that uh, because in the future, we're gonna be hooking that train track into here. Um, the rail construction office, along with its storage, all are temporary and they need to be removed. In fact, most of the, well, the rail warehouse, the construction office, and the diesel station all need to be moved in the future, just not at the moment. They're later problems for later JD to deal with. So once that happens, I can plug this in here. And then, well, we can have our food trains go over to Lack and Gruel and bring over food, booze, clothing directly to the warehouse. Also pick up the electronics from the border. For the moment, we're going to be doing that with trucks after this is built. So once this is built, we'll, um, well, hook up uh, the resources that you require. Yeah, notify when finished. Notify when finished. And... Yeah, I sort of need a notification for all of these because I'm going to upgrade the paths to gravel. 
I don't want to leave them as dirt because we're going to be using them. So we'll get notifications when all those are done. And then, um, yes, once that's done, we can rip down this one, rip down the, the trucks that are there. And I don't know, maybe we'll put a Ferris wheel in the middle of town or something. Uh, whilst we're here, research. Can we get some research done? Uh, we're just going to work our way through the recycling because why the hell not? Uh, we'll grab some steel recycling. Uh, in the uh, Republic, well, the Republic research, yes. Uh, we're still doing the pipeline connection with Western, uh, Western countries. And not you, you. Uh, you have nothing to research. Meanwhile, uh, the radio station is up and running, sort of. Uh, we don't have any people here. We don't have any people here because... Uh, can I get team number two? We'll talk about you in a second. Uh, and team number one over here. Uh, well, I can't get people here. Um, I did give them an alternative route with dirt all the way around the outside, but it's just too far. Uh, what I do want to do is I do want to give them... Um, well, some Soviet propaganda. Uh, actually, no, first thing we want to do is we want to have a minimum loyalty of 40%. Uh, I really want to increase people's loyalty. And you know what? Uh, we're just going to set you to 100, all the workers you need. So you're going to potentially take in 100 staff plus another 50 actors slash moderators. I don't know what a moderator is doing on a radio station, but so be it. Uh, we're going to give you some cultural enjoyment but mostly propaganda. We're going to have 50-50 to start with. Uh, I can get some extra... Oh. Hmm, I can't get any extra. I was sort of hoping that if I lowered these down, I'd get an extra couple of points I could spend elsewhere. Guess not. All right, uh, so we're going to see how well that goes. Uh, this is still missing, well, one series switch. Once the series switch is done... Really? How much concrete were you not carrying? 7%. Where's the other truck? Oh, you need to finish that step, and then we get to the last step, which then requires another load of concrete. Fine. 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 Oh, 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 1.7 tons. Oh, wow, they can reach? No, I didn't think so. Oh, 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 no, they can reach. Wow. Okay. Uh, cultural enjoyment. No, we want less of that. Uh, yeah, I don't care about cultural enjoyment. Zero percent? Zero percent? Zero percent it is. Uh, and you're done. Cool. Uh, so we have a couple of paths to still put in. Uh, can I do... Can I, can I get a... Can I get a dirt path? Like... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No. Oh, I saw you. You lit up. No. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There. There. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, nope. Number seven, number two. Number two. Yep. Yeah. I have also split the construction office. Uh, number... Construction offices. Number one. Uh, seven. One is everybody number two is just the bulldozers and the dump trucks uh really the guys designed to do just roads um so i can now sort of dedicate them to doing roads which means hopefully less excavators overdoing roads because that was happening far too often all right but you should be increasing the overall loyalty of our people um the higher i can get the loyalty uh, the overall more effective efficient people are going to get and wow i didn't think you would fill up garbage can is overfilled uh did i not give you garbage oh well about that uh sure okay uh can i get that approved and can i number seven number two get that done all right uh and can i get that can go okay that that and that and that can go gravel uh that can go gravel because i can access that no i can't really whatever just gravel the whole lot yep and i don't need to gravel that okay uh can i go to number two and just assign them to whatever they can reach and we should be good to go all right uh, so yes we're gonna have to get a garbage dump in for them uh in theory um, not in theory, it's been proven multiple times. I can just copy your settings to there. They're already applied. And um, you're just going to have to get uh, emptied by garbage trucks for the moment. 
which sort of sucks because that's going to fill up basically instantly with that many people in there. Yeah, it's full already. And I only have one small garbage truck for the whole of, well, this town because we just don't use them. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so uh, construction crews will get that done. It won't take them too long. All right, uh, so that's the only thing we need to talk about here. We still have the track builder out building tracks. Slowly. Very slowly. Uh, can I click on you? Can I click on that building? Uh, that one. And... Yeah. Very, very, very slowly. Um, yep. Yeah. He's still got some work to do. That's fine. All right. Uh, meanwhile, back over to uh, Koloski. Koloski? Yeah, Koloski. Yep. All right. So I have thrown down some asphalt roads because we are going to have vehicles coming into the general separator. So I figured we might as well put some real roads here. Uh, I've also made sure we have a real road into the bus station. And you have six uh all six of there cool uh i also want to get that road changed over as well uh we're gonna put the construction crews on that uh well the road crews on that and we're gonna set you to zero workers so it's done with machinery rather than with people we're still very far from getting any of this built okay there is still an awful lot to do also i need to plug this power pole into something so we can dump the power into the grid but we'll worry about that in the future because what i really want to do is I want to play with Jettysburg. Now, Jettysburg, I have done a few things. Um, first off, uh, we have pushed back the terrain wherever possible. Uh, in fact, I need to uh, level terrain height from center. Uh, can I drag that out? And probably... I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to push the terrain as far as our roundabout that we keep ghost building. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need all of this area to build a town in, which means I'm probably going to have to sit here for a little while, well, rearranging the terrain. Now, I do have some temporary road crews down here. These guys have nothing to do. All they do is sit there and be, make sure they're available. Plus, I have multiple fuel stations down here, just the free ones that we're topping up with fuel because there's a lot of construction going on over here. And therefore, well, there's a lot of construction crews over here doing things, hopefully. See, when there's this many trucks sitting around, I get worried. Uh, can I assign the crews to that? And that, and that, and that. Oh, oh definitely that. Uh, can I, high priority. Uh, oh, it might be a concrete shortage. Uh, concrete, 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 concrete. Boards, concrete, steel. Yeah. Okay. All right. In that case, uh, we have construction crews at the border that do get concrete in, but I also have this, uh, this construction office here. This is technically full. This is technically full. You're full. You're not quite full and you're very full. Yeah. So I think in here, we're going to buy new vehicles. We're going to get some concrete mixes, uh, sort by capacity. You do 13 tons at 87 kilometers per hour. You do 12 tons at 80 kilometers per hour. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough, probably. Uh, you are still sourcing your concrete from the border because that's just what we have to do. And, well, hopefully that speeds up our construction. Now, for down here, um, we have some bare basics that I have decided. Um, you have fuel, right? Yes, and you have fuel, right? Cool. All right, uh, we have some bare basics. So I have a single bus platform, and that is because you're a one-way bus platform. I want to be be able to bring buses off the main road on a right-hand right-hand turn into the bus platform, and then leave again and turn right back onto the roundabout. Uh, the other thing I want to do, whilst the crews are semi-idle, is remove that, that, and there are vehicles on it. Of course, there are. Uh, that, that, and there are vehicles on that one still. All right, uh, I want to gravel that. Uh, we'll put, no, seven, two. Seven, two, cool. You guys build that. Uh, actually, we're just going to go straight to Asheville. Yep. Uh, we'll set you to zero workers just in case. And can I... Oh, you're on the job already. Cool. Uh, can I do that plus that plus that and hopefully people are off the road. There are vehicles on the road. Where is this vehicle? 
you. Go home. Okay, merge that and merge that. And again, we're going to number seven, number two, uh, assign them there. I'm gonna set you to zero as well. Cool. All right, I wanna get that done. Now, the plan is I want to put this sort of at the top of the town. And I also want to set up your food. So your food wise, we're gonna copy uh, this that I just placed down. This I'm pretty happy with. It does a pretty good job of everything I need. So we're going to head in strange tools. We're gonna grab the clone button. I'm gonna whoop, rotate the camera slightly. I'm gonna copy this. Now I'm probably not happy with how this is gonna place down. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put this here as sort of like a template I can then copy from. Okay, straight, straight away, the mart didn't go down. All right, so can we get a uh, residential, no, residential, uh, I want grocery store, no, shopping center. Okay, can I put the shopping center? Okay, put a shopping center here. Pick you up, uh, rotate you around, and put you there for one second, okay. Some bare basics. I'm gonna wanna have a road coming out dead straight from the bottom of this roundabout. Okay, this is gonna be the main road into town. And I'm gonna keep it to single lane because I'm hoping to keep most of the vehicles out of the town. I'm hoping we're gonna bring across the food via train, which is gonna be one of our biggest imports, I guess, in the town. Uh, as for the road on the right, I do need to keep the road on the right. The road on the right is gonna be mainly, I'm suspecting, um, where I put technical service officers, construction officers, um, all that sort of stuff. So I sort of keep them linked directly into the roundabout where they can access the town, but also keep them away from, well, driving in and out of town. Uh, and then you, I'm hoping I can put you... Can I get a building? Uh, can I go with, I don't know, what do we need? We're gonna need state infrastructure. Can I get a... Hospital, fire station, uh, hospital. Uh, no, hospital doesn't need to get out. Uh, police station does need to get out. Okay, can we go with crime and justice? Can I get a police station large? And can I put you here? Just so I sort of know how far away from the main road you need to be. Uh, let's go with there. Okay, so Soviet Mart sticks out a little bit. So we're gonna put the Soviet Mart Rotate you around, turn off the grid. I don't need the grid. And of course it's coming at night time. Uh, can I put you... Let's go with here. Okay. With that place, uh, we're going to put the bus station here. Building's on fire. It's probably okay. And we're going to bring our road into there and our road into here. Like I said, the plan is that we can go do right-hand drive into the bus station, right-hand drive out of the bus station, uh, one thing I need to do, want to do, is road vehicles. Uh, we want bus platforms, no, depots. Bus end station large. I want a couple of these. So, uh, can I do one, two, three. Okay, can we do uh, buses come down the main road here, and then they're gonna leave... I don't think I can have three of them. I think I can get away with two of them, but... We have a in and out, a... Come on. I know you want to do it. There you go. Cool. Yeah, you connect in the same note. All right. So we have a couple of end stations. End stations are going to be important if we want to uh, have multiple buses. And I'm hoping two end stations gives me a couple of options for, well, different bus routes. Okay, so that's our first plan. Our second plan is road coming down this way, and then I need to put in this infrastructure. So you go uh, flipped, and I don't actually know. Right, let's do you first. So you're going to be our forklift garage, and I want to put you basically dead in line with that. I then want to put our meat storage, which needs to go uh, that way and basically straight in line with that. And then we need to have the warehouse. We're going to flip the warehouse. More flips. So the road ducks in behind it. And I want to put you hard up against the Soviet Mart. Yes, perfect. Uh, not perfect. I can't get the road out of there, can I? 
Nope. Okay, can I slide you... Okay. Can I bring a road through here? Uh, show to there and plug that into there. And then grab... No, uh, grab you first. Bring you out your road. So I know how much clearance you need. And then put our freezer back. Uh, like so. And then can I get a road through there? Okay, so you can plug it in there. You can plug it in there. Okay. I need to have a footpath. This is going to be a critically important footpath to go from the bus stop uh, down to this junction. And also, it wouldn't hurt if it can go this way either. Because the house is going to go down here. Uh, all right. I do need to strip back some of this, uh, like so. And I'm going to need that garbage dump to go right here and then i need to yeah okay so you need to go further back or i need to build the short tiny path to then get a garbage dump to get a dirt road to connect super short to get the footpaths in all right so that should be garbage uh this is where the police station it turns out is going to go and i'll also need to bring a footpath uh out here to this corner uh, around the storage, plug that in there as well, and we'll grab a train track so I don't forget. And angle of railway crossing is too sharp. I thought that might happen. Okay, can I cancel that and cancel that? Uh, can I do rail out? Uh, of course, it needs to go around all of this now. Uh, yep, behind the bus depots, and then it's going to end up going that way. And then hopefully, I can still get this footpath to go through. Alright, oh, crossing is too close to the intersection. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Uh, I need to go across. Yeah, that's no longer accessible. That's rude. Uh, can I do a longer footpath? No. All right, so we do lose access to that one, but uh, if I cancel this, bring this back to there, I should be able to connect that to there, and we can have people access that one instead, which is going to be good enough. Okay, so, uh, can I delete some of this dodginess? Mm, done. All right, so... We have our Soviet Mart, we have our uh, forklift, we have our well, storage for all the goods. Uh, we have freezer, we have bin, we have police station. Okay, I don't need any of this anymore. Uh, they're just guidelines, so we sort of know what the plans are. Can I remove all of that? Can I remove all of that? And can I remove all of that? Oh, and then do that again. All right, so step number one. No, there's more steps. Uh, cancel for buff. All right. So, step number one is then I need to work through my city services. So, we're going to cancel this road. Uh, we're going to put the station over there. I'm going to move you up higher. Uh, now, the police station doesn't have an option for heli uh, helicopters. Okay? Need to point... Ah, uh, no. Okay. Still doesn't have an option for helicopters. Uh, because we're now at the point where we're making our own fuel. Which means I can be a little bit more exorbitant. And I could make sure that we start using helicopters. Helicopters put out fires, helicopters pick up patients uh, for the hospital, that sort of stuff. So, uh, next city service I want to get is going to be a fire station. We have the option for the two, which is nice because it doesn't require heat or anything. Uh, we then have the option for the uh, eight vehicle, and we have option for four vehicle. I'm going to go for the eight. And the reason I'm going to go for the eight is we're going to park you right about here, which is going to put you very, very close to our roundabout uh but under airplanes uh we have helicopter cargo pad no not cargo pad uh parking 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 heliport heliport times three and if i bring this close enough that the building goes bright green uh that means you're actually connected and i need to put you right there but this building's the way so let's put the first one is going to go here because this particular fire station is going to have six helicopters. Why? Because it has water right here. Everywhere else has been a little bit shorter on the waterfront. Uh, can't, oh, no. I can build a demo office. This is a demo office. Uh, can I move you to... 
Mm, yeah, let's just put you way over here. Uh, can I move everybody? Find a new home over there, please. And you're empty. Okay. And you... Gas station. How about the gas station here? And fuel rats. Can you guys fill up this gas station instead? And... No. Uh, uh, load from there. Yeah. I don't think that's going to help me. Uh, no, you're still in the way. Okay, just delete. I don't care about the fuel that's in there. Delete, I said. Del oh, ha, ha. it's now full of hazardous waste. No. Okay, fine. All right, come pick up the hazardous waste because I need to put this right here and that fuel station is definitely in the way all right so we're gonna have police uh police uh we're gonna have a heliport for fire helicopters uh we're gonna bring a road through to here and then we'll wrap this around the corner and pick up the next helipad okay so two city services down uh next city service i'm going to need so can i get stuff off the screen uh that's the train track sure all right don't need that anymore, and I need that to be emptied, and they're probably fine where they are. All right, uh, city services. So we're gonna need to have uh, emergency. I'm gonna need a hospital, okay? And I sort of wanna maximize these tiles. So you don't exactly, oh, you do exactly. You do exactly plug into that intersection. Okay, can I put you here? I gotta work out where we can put our helipads. Okay, can I then get a uh, airplanes? Uh, can I get a? You're not gonna fit a three, not unless I move all the road down, which I can do, or we could give you a one, which I still need to move the road down for. Technically, there's nothing plugged into the road that's super important just yet. Uh, can I? No, uh, cancel road, cancel view, go back to this one, I know that one, I grab a hospital and let me just curve the road a little bit, and we can, okay, can I then go and get a single heliport, uh, I don't know if I want the heliport for the hospital, but I want the option to have a heliport for the hospital, uh, because, you know, this is going to be doing a whole lot of industrial buildings, and industrial buildings sometimes have industrial accidents. So, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have, you know, some speedy responses to um, industrial accidents. All right. I do need to make sure I have waste dumps. Uh, we're going to put a single one here. We should cover both those buildings. And, yeah, that should get us covered. Um, the hospital is going to need a waste dump as well. We're just going to put one... No, we're gonna leave that because I need to put in the next building. Uh, can I cancel that bit of road? And can we drag that uh, that way? Okay. Uh, other services I need down here uh, is not that. Okay. And a heliport to go in. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this road is gonna continue to here, and then this is probably gonna get slid down. In fact. Uh, can I grab you guys? Uh, it's the second from the bottom right. Yeah, load the fuel out of that place. Cool. All right. So, uh, other city services I need. I need to go back into residential. We're going to... No, state infrastructure. I need to have climate justice. We're going to need a big courthouse. Uh, at the moment, I have the whole Republic running a small courthouse. I can see that being a problem in time. Uh, luckily, you happen to line up with that road. It's almost like I planned stuff here. So we're going to throw a courthouse here. All right. Uh, I also need to have secret police. Uh, prison, secret police. Okay. Secret police. You're starting to look good. You're starting to look good. Uh... Secret police are going to go right here, it turns out. Uh, okay. Can I put you here? Can I remove that footpath? Because that's going to become important in a little while. I'm going to trash bin 
Can I put a trash bin here? Uh, yes, can I get that? Can I get that? I can get that through there. Okay. Can I bring this road out to, yep, pretty much the water. And can I plug that into there? Okay, uh, we're going to assign that to there. We're going to bring that through to there, and then that continue. Come on, curve a little bit straight along that road because we're going to end up using that probably. And I don't know. I've got to put intersections across here. All right. Uh, other things I don't need, don't need. Do need. I don't need a prison. I don't need. Uh, I do need a university, and we will probably put that. Uh, you have 80 students, you have 420 students. Yeah, I don't need that many. You have 60 students. Uh, so 40, 40, 80, you have 30, 30, 60, and the medical is just, ooh. Medical's 100 total workers for 300 students. Yeah, we're gonna come back to this. Uh, I'm gonna put that there for now, and we're gonna come back to that problem. Okay, because I should cover our worker numbers. So we are going to need uh, construction crews to assign themselves to this stuff. Uh, we're gonna need 220 workers in the coal mine. So the coal mine, if we go back to fossil fuels, uh, coal, you need 220 workers, okay? On top of that, the coal ore processing plants need 15 workers each, so that's 220 plus uh, 15, 30, 60, so we're going to call that about 300 workers. On top of that, we have the incinerator. So we have the uh, the incinerator power plant, which needs 20 workers. So what are we at? We're at mm, 220, 300, 320-ish. Uh, plus we need waste separation, which is this one, which is another 15. So yeah, what's that? Uh, 330, 340, 350-ish. And then I also have a graveling recycling plant, which is one of these. Uh, oh, that one's 15. Uh, uh, that one is 50. So we're, we're about 400 workers. I need about 400 workers to run all of this. Oh, plus heating, a few other ancillary things. So we're going to need about 400 workers. And that's for one shift. And here in Jenny's Republic, well, we have um 10-hour shifts with a 10-day work week. There is no rest here for the wicked or the members of the Republic. So there's an awful lot to do, an awful lot uh, that I need the people to do, which means we need an awful lot of workers. We're gonna need, like I said, around about 400 and change workers, which after I give my three shifts per day, we're gonna need around about 1200 workers. Uh, I also need to around about, I wanna gravel all of, I should not need to gravel any of that. Uh, I just need that road done which is happening right now. Yep, uh, most of that's on auto discovery. Uh, we're just leaving them to get to it. So I need to have a town down here that's gonna have at least 2,000 people, probably three or 4,000, because we're also gonna use the same labor pool to do, um, well, as we spoke about last episode, the gravel, plus the bricks, plus the cement, plus the concrete, plus the prefabs, plus the asphalt, and it's also gonna become the workforce for, uh, well, this whole construction crew here, because, it's just easy to have a dedicated construction crew uh, or a de dedicated labor pool very close by for construction. Uh, you are doing wonderful. We only have 300 people listening to the radio, even though 7,000 people have radios. And that's not built. Uh, can I get team number one to get this built? Team number two to get that, 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 and that built? Uh, you know, I need that access. Uh, team number two can also get that built. And uh, there was a research finish, which means I need to click on you. Uh, can I get you to go do aluminium recycling? Okay. Can I get that road uh, built? And that's the only one we can get built so far. Yeah, we need the rest of these to get finished so I can then gravel this up. Cool. All right. Back down to Jettysburg. All right. So Jettysburg, I need to plan out my town. Okay. And I'm going to have to do some terraforming. I'm gonna have to put in a cut, but that's all fine. What I need to do is I need to look at residential. Uh, I need to decide on a type of housing. So residential, 
we're going to be going with the 190 worker building. This is going to be my preferred building, and I'm going to uh, put you here. Okay. We're going to bring a footpath. Okay. Not where I want it, but sure. Uh, we're going to bring a footpath through here. Uh, can that connect? No. Okay. All right. Can I get my building? All right. I'm going to put a building here, and then one hard up against the first one. Like so. Okay. Uh, the thing we're interested in is that trash dump, which you... You're not lighting up. Um... You're not telling the walk distance to it. That's really annoying. Because it intersects the road. Uh, or it intersects the footpath. Uh, okay, what happens if I cancel that? And... Uh... Then will you tell me? No, you're going around to everything damn well else. All right, I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Okay, can I get any tape measure? We're gonna go there, to there, to there, to there, whoop, to there, to there, to there. Okay, uh, that is ground distance 60 meters. Okay, if I drag that to there and that to there, that is 83 meters. Uh, the maximum, maximum reach for a garbage bin is 125 meters. So uh, that means if I put another house here and another house here, uh, they're all gonna reach. Uh, can I remove you and slide you a little bit closer because every single bit of space is gonna count here. Uh, can I put you there, okay. Uh, then, no, 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 no. I forgot the most important part. It's this, the footpath that goes through here. Okay, can I put a footpath through to there? And a footpath through to... Here. Cool. Can I get rid of the measuring tool? Alright, can we go residential? We're going to grab... Uh, residential housing. Alright, so we're going to put our first house... Here. Our second house is going to go... Here. Our third house is going to go... Here. And our fourth house is going to go... Uh, here. You are further away from the road than you should be. Uh, so can I put you there? Alright, so that's step number one. Step number two is I'm going to need another footpath uh, parallel to the last footpath and then we're going to plug you in there and you in there. Cool. Then I'm going to get another house and we're going to go one uh, come on two Uh, if I flip you, no, flip you is further away. Yeah. Uh, okay, two. And then we're going to grab out our measuring tool and do things the hard way. So we're going to go from here to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, and here. Here. Uh, 128 meters. I actually think it's slightly less, although maybe it's not because we're going around. Uh, can I second thoughts? What happens if I remove that and then I remove that and that and then I just get a trash dump and I put a trash dump directly on the road. That's even better. Now we get the exact measurements. Okay, uh, we can see the bottom right hand corner we're 119 meters. Uh, 118 meters, 122, 124. So about there is max distance. Uh, I don't know why I had to move you over. Can I do that again? What infrastructure? You happy now? You are happy now. Okay, 124 meters. Okay, can I get a footpath? That's a road. Footpath? No. Okay, so I can't have a footpath through here. I can live with that. Uh, can I just get you cancelled? Cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. Uh, you're gonna go straight through there instead. All right, can I get rid of that and waste? I'm gonna put a waste stand here as close to the road as possible. All right, so I can reach four this way. Uh, also means that if we put in another footpath here, uh, a little bit closer if I wouldn't mind. Okay, you're gonna snap to there or there. So no, I can't get you any closer. All right, so we're gonna put a footpath here, high rain, and we're gonna put you there and you there. All right. Then I should be able to repeat this process. So we should be able to put, uh, if you're facing the right direction, uh, you there, 93 meters of the trash bin, 
you there, 115 meters to the trash bin. And if I put a connection there instead, uh, I may be able to get in another one. I'm not really planning on another one, but we're gonna find out the hard way. Uh, cancel footpath that. There's a node there and a node there. Fine, we'll do this node, which means I guarantee you I can't I can fit one of them. So it's 100 odd meters. All right, so we'll stop here. Okay, so this is 200 people, 400 people, 800 people, uh, 1600 people. Okay, step one, 1600 people. And what I wanna do is like any good Republic, I want to um, mass put in people. Uh, can I cancel that? And we're gonna run a footpath here instead, and then you into there. Okay, uh, and then I wanna do the exact same. So this time around, I'm going to flip you because the road is slightly lower, and we're gonna go with uh, one. How do I your friend? Two. Uh, come on. Uh, can I extend that to there and then remove that? Ah, uh, that remove the whole thing. I just want to remove the middle bit so I can put the buildings in. Uh, flip. One, two, three. Uh, four. Come on, four. Uh, five. Come on, six, uh, and this is actually the eighth one, but you know, counting is hard. Uh, and the road should be dead straight-ish. Okay, uh, can I bring that to here and then bring that to there and then that to there and then that to there and out to there. And now I should be able to run that through there and you can go in there fine and you need to slide over. Come on, so you go green. Go green, stay green. There we go. All right. So, assuming my design process of this can reach the top eight houses, uh, if I click you and I put another one, uh, let's go with right here, right here. I'm right on the edge, so I've got to have to remove some of this stuff and rebuild it. Uh, but if I go with dirt road going straight that direction and then I plug that into there, and I click on you, uh, you can reach, well, 114 meters on the far left and 110 meters on the far right. So you can also reach eight, eight of these, which means, yes, I need to get the construction crews out here. I need to push out all the terrain and then I need to build all this. I'm also gonna have to put in things like water treatment, um, all sorts of other things. I need to get the construction crews to get this stuff finished, which is, I have no idea. Uh, waiting on vehicles, it is assigned. Uh, there is two jump trucks on the way. You need a hundred and something tons of asphalt. And yet you only have two trucks. Okay, uh, you're done. Can I set you to zero workers? And hopefully that means you get zero patrons because uh, you're not done. Uh, you're very much not done. Okay, uh, I need to get the rest of this done. I also need to set you up with, what I set? Uh, 60, 30, 10. Uh, limits, can I do uh, 10, 50, 25, 10, and we'll set you to 15, that should be correct. And I need to have this office add that to your list and you're going to load that one uh, with that, 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 and that. Cool. Uh, all right, you need to be finished. You're gonna need four trucks. I need to put in the paths. I need to go and uh, do some terraforming and build a town. So uh, I'll see you after we have the People's Market up and running. So uh, the new People's Market is built. It already has, well, the warehouse has been filled. The meat store has been filled. It already has four, three, four, three, three three forklifts up and running that are moving around, well, all the resources. We do have booze here, and I'm arming and arming about actually giving the people booze. 
I do have uh, 800 people that are unhappy because they can't drink booze. And now that we've done all the research, it is something that we, we will look at probably in the next episode. Um, the old market is up and running, and unfortunately, it's in reconstruction mode. So I've set it to low priority. I've already removed both the trucks that were servicing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the number of workers to zero. Uh, can I set that? No, I can't set that. Okay. Um, so we're going to see what happens. We need to come back in that in half a second and see if, well, all the shoppers go elsewhere. Hopefully to either, well, Soviet Mart or the People's Market. Uh, as for our new town, uh, we have, actually, no, before I do that, there is two other things I need to do. Research, I need to grab the next part of recycling, plastic recycling. Uh, we do have a medical university. Medical university is going to service this section of the town. And we have our technical university, which services this part of the town and the Soviet headquarters, which services this part of town. There are gaps in our education. So what I want to do is two things. I do have uh, 700 people that are over the age of 21 and don't have a flat to live in. And what I'd like to do is not necessarily give them a flat, but have a pool of um, future workers that I could draw upon uh, that are ready to go to a new town. They actively want to move to a new town. And under residential areas, no, nope, uh, state infrastructure, we have universities. I have the University Hall of Residence. Now, these are basically dorms. Uh, frat houses, you might say. You know, for the Republic. And I want to uh, put you there and as close as possible. Uh, there. And there. And there. And there. And one more. I'm not going to get that lucky. Okay. Uh, so each one of these holds 85 people. I'm hoping... Uh, can I remove that node? Because that was a footpath node. It needs to now be a non-footpath node. A, a road node. I'm going to do that to there and that to there. And then I can throw a footpath back in... It's not very good, but it'll have to do. And I can throw one in here as well, I guess. Uh, we're going to get these built. Uh, can I get them all assigned? And can I get one over here? Now, it's the same as any other housing. It is going to need access to all the services, uh, like food. Um, what else I put them? You have a road, so that means you need to be... Do you? If I put you there... And then I build you a footpath. Can I assign crews? I can assign crews. So you don't technically need a road. Uh, okay, remove that and remove that. Um, what I basically want is I want a pool of workers I can call upon uh, to move to new towns. Uh, no, is that starting to work? All right, can I grab one of these? Can I get the alternative design, that design? Can we go one, two, I can't do three. How about one of that design then. Okay. If I run you a path to there, and I run you a path to here, and then into here, and you get to there, can you reach the market? 206 meters, yes. Can you reach the market? 250 meters, yes. Can you reach the market? 237 meters, yes. Can I run your path there instead? Yes, I can. Okay, can I remove that one, and we're going to run that to there, and we're going to run that to there. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is I want all of this built. I, I basically want a whole pile of people that are ready to, get, ready to move into a new town. And if they come from these buildings, they're going to be pre-educated. So they're already going to have the education level of two. They're ready to work, you know, in the, uh, a hospital, in the courthouse, in the secret police. They're ready to go to all these sorts of buildings that do require higher educated people. And... They'll also work in shopping centers and other places where they don't need to be high educated, but they will be high educated. Okay, as for our coal area, uh, Koloski, it is doing perfectly fine. Yes, uh, now there's a couple of things that have been added. First off, I need to hook in the power network. So that has been done. Uh, can I get that approved and that approved and that approved? Uh, I did need to hook in from the incinerator into some power poles, into some switches. So that has been done, and that means the power network has been brought further along down here. 
possibly want to put those there, but I guess that ship sailed. All right. Also, I've run a power cable all the way across to, um, well, the new town. Now, the new, new town, as you can see, has a, a couple of things we need to talk about that weren't here previously. So, we still have our bare basic bones. Uh, can I actually bring... Uh, okay, first off, can I approve whatever's not built and bring that up at number two and assign everything. Just everything. 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 Okay. Uh, group number two, don't forget, is the guys that just do roads. So they should be fine. Uh, can I... I didn't do that road. Okay. And number two, go. All right. So we have our two... No, actually, let's start over here. All right. So some things that we're familiar. We have our trash sorting system right here. We have two distribution offices, one to deal with the trash, because that's going to have to move some serious distance. Uh, the other one to deal with just basically the town. We have also have two technical service offices. One's going to be dealing with mainly snow plows, and the other one is going to be dealing with, um, well, everything else. Uh, now I'm thinking about moving these guys over here. No, they should be fine where they are. Uh, we also have a construction office. This is going to be for reconstruction. Okay. Uh, next thing is we have power coming in. Um, so we have power in to, two, to a power transformer. That's the word I'm looking for. And then also into a medium voltage switch. So these are going to be powering everything down here. All right. Uh, we have the Soviet Mart. We have the warehouse with its train track going all the way over to... Uh, hook up with the same train tracks to here. We'll come back to train tracks shortly. We also have our forklift station uh, and meat storage. Um, up here, we have the bus depot and we have a heat exchanger. We have a gallery of art that I managed to squeeze in here. We still have the police station unmoved. We still have the fire station unmoved. We also have a couple of heliports uh, for the fire station. We have the hospital plus its own little heliport. We have the courthouse, which slid over a little bit so I could put in a garbage dump in front of it. We have a cinema right here for the people. We also have a rail construction office. Now the rail construction office does not have uh, any rails hooked up to it currently. Uh, they're going to have to go here to sort of line up with these three in the future. We'll get back to those shortly. Uh, we have, well, actually in, the, in a future episode, uh, we have a dynamo, again, to provide, make sure people have sports. We have a water treatment center. Uh, I can't do that road yet. But I can in like two tons, so yes. All right. Uh, we have water being uh, four of the small water pumps just to bring water into our water treatment. Uh, you're going that way with forwards. Uh, I got bad news. I want to cancel that work. Uh, can I bring that into there? A little bit straighter. Cool. Uh, can I nope. uh, copy that and paste that? Cool. And also assign you to road construction and you also need road construction okay i have all the end pieces of road uh being pre-assigned along with a whole lot of paths the paths we'll get to well actually the construction crews will get to all right so this is sort of city services uh in the main city we have the secret police that we placed uh previously before the cut and uh above them we have the medical university over the back, we have a kindergarten, uh, plus we have a large school. Yes, a large school. And none of that can be built. None of that can be built. Uh, and then we have our rows of houses. So each house is good for 190 people. We're going to call it 200. So that's 200, 400, 600, 800 people uh, with a second row that's 1,600. And then we've doubled it for 3,200. And then we've doubled the whole thing for 6,400. It also means that this trash bin, this trash bin, and this trash bin service the whole town. Um, it's incredibly efficient. It's also why it's taking me about an hour to put everything together and make sure everything fits and, and reaches and, and everything else. Uh, the other things that we have, if I bring up this, uh, oh, the other things we have is underground. So uh, water, like I said, we're grabbing water here. We're pumping it into a water treatment plant. It goes into a water tower and then pops out into a switch and one water distribution or water substation. If I bring you up and we go back above ground, you can see that this covers everything on the top of town, all right? Everything is covered from here. I have a second one, switch, switch, switch into, oop, oop, here, uh, which covers everything sort of, really only the, the medical university. I think that was the only thing the first one didn't cover. And then I have a third one down here, 
which covers basically the last row of houses. Uh, they were the only things that, where are you? You're here. They were the only thing I couldn't quite reach. Well, the left-hand side and the bottom row of houses. So water substations don't have a throughput limit. The pipes do, but the substations don't. Uh, again, same applies to sewage. So sewage, we have a sewage here. And if I zoom out, uh, that covers the right-hand side of the town. And I have one here, which covers the left-hand side of the town. Now, that is all the sewage. As for sewage itself, we are grabbing sewage here, putting them together, and then running them straight out from here to a brand new sewage dump into, well, the lovely river. Uh, can I approve? No, no, that's not what I want. Oh. Uh, as for that, well, we're pretty sure we're dumping it in the river and I'm pretty sure the water direction is directly across the coast. So all the ash is just going to land over here. It'll be fine. Uh, one thing that I didn't look at, and it's something we might look at in a future episode, is residential sports. Uh, there is option of a beach. I could possibly give the people of the Republic a beach downstream from the sewage plant. Um, I, I think it'd be fine, you know, considering the amount of pollution we had in Lycanstock. I don't see an issue. Uh, so I do have the construction crews, number two, uh, doing all the end pieces of road currently. At the same time, because they carry gravel and asphalt and all that sort of stuff, they're also dropping off stuff for pipes, etc. Uh, they have an awful lot to do. Construction number, crew number one is basically auto assigning itself to jobs as it finds them. But if I click on you and I scroll down and I look at 3000 meters, it doesn't quite reach much of the town. So what I want to do is very quickly uh, cut that back to there. And we're going to put a shortcut from here to here. And then if I click on you again, oop, zoom in, uh, click on you again, uh, you now reach absolutely everything. So that should be enough that we should be able to get everything built. This has a, like literally one structure left to go. Everything is... How do you have fertilizer in here? That is annoying. I don't know how you end up with fertilizer in here. Hmm. I'll have to have a single truck come over here and empty that. Yep. Uh, can I... That's been asphalted. That's been asphalted. Can I do... Is it that? That's the part that's holding us up. Okay. High priority, high priority. Uh, you're just about finished. Okay. If you're... When you're finished... Uh, you're assigned. So I'm guessing people are reaching over the bridge to build you. You're short some steel. Okay. Yeah, I want to have all this asphalted from start to end. Uh, you are actually going to be finished in about 20 seconds. So we do have this mostly done. We have the power brought over. We have the incinerator plugged in. We're pretty much ready to go for coal, but um, we now have a new job to build. Um, I need to get a brand new town up and built. Hence why I went put in, um, well, the university accommodation. So once we have this ready, I should be able to just untick this and, well, tick this and have the, anybody who are over the age of 21 mass move across. But um, we're gonna have to find that out in the future because they're gonna take a little while to get this done. Also, we're about to hit winter. And not many of these roads are upgraded to gravel, which is a problem. Hence why I'm trying, I missed that one. Uh, I'm trying to get roads upgraded to gravel. Uh, I just cut off access to that bulldozer. Okay, I'm trying to get most of these roads upgraded to gravel as quickly as possible because it just gives us a better chance of, well, um, getting vehicles in and out during rain like this and also during, um, well, the snow. Yeah, uh, gravel at least gives us a chance. Asphalt gives us a way better chance, but... um. There's a lot of deliveries to do. But I'm going to call this video here as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you in the next episode where I need to cover power. Because I didn't cover power. It's not that complicated. I need to cover heat pipes. Power and heat pipes. We'll cover that in the next one. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye.